Rightio, another weekend, Saturday, two weeks before drag challenge. Um, our nozzle come in just yesterday, so it's a 400 horsepower nozzle. Um, what else? Wiring all the nitrous at the moment. You see here we've got the relays. Um, we've got the bottle heater, nitrous solenoids and purge solenoid. Um, go inside the car. So this is a nice launcher system, little computer system, controls the nitrous. Um, that is wired into, it's piggybacked into the ECU here. Um, through these, these wires here, which go in and measure the TPS, like read the TPS and read the engine up here. So we set a TPS point we want and a RPM trigger point and a nitrous won't engage until those, and then we can ramp it in, progressive control. So ramp it in, say, start at 40% and ramp it over whatever time frame we want. Um, so we can adjust that for, you know, if we're blowing the tires, we can take some nitrous out, out of it, etc. cetera. Um, what else? And then we've got a little control panel from Build Ninja. We've got a bottle heater nitrous on and the purge button you can see just there it tore a little bit when i was drilling it to a bugger anyway don't stop it from working um that's about where we're up to at the minute anyway have a bite to eat and get back into it Right, yeah, so the nitrous all installed. We've got the switches down there. Master on off. Purge. And bottle heater. Um, this is the NOS launcher. Um, control system, progressive nitrous. So if we have a look in here, you can see there nitrous cutoff 6,600. Um, RPM trigger zero at the moment because we're going to do like a dry run. Delay of zero, so there's no delay. It'll start at 45% nitrous and it will finish at 100% and a ramp time of three seconds to get to maximum. That's very, very lazy. Um, so we go back to the monitor and when I go full throttle, so it says trigger here, that's, that's TPS voltage. When I go full throttle, it's showing the percentage of nitrous here and has it ramp showing it ramping it in. That's it. Normally I have an RPM trigger as well, but we've got that disabled because we're just testing. You can hear that out there. We'll go out there. We have the nitrous nozzle inserted in there. Um, purge valve, purge valve coming up through here. Yeah, almost ready for dynoing. Go.
everyone. Me and Dylan are on our way to Heathcote to uh, test out the VX. We've got the VX behind us on the trail. I'm um, almost there, so we'll see what it does. Radio back from here because it's Monday morning. Obviously, I'm back at work. Um, testing went reasonably well. First run, 13.7. I muffed up everything, uh, so it didn't really count. Um, second run, a little bit better, 12.2. Really bad 60 foot. I think it was a um, two and a half second 60 foot. So, really bad. Um, they went back and then Dylan had a drive and he did it on a flat 13, which is awesome for his first first ever attempt. And then um, and then I did a pass with Talia, the fourth and last pass, which I made some, some major changes to the tune to try and get it out of the hole a bit better and it, and it worked fairly well. Um, we've done a 1.8, 60 foot and went through at an 11.7 at 117 mile an hour so we're getting there um and at that point i was probably going to start like tweaking that launch a little bit more and um um and it'll start to add a little bit more power um the aim was to do get down to the tens but our day was cut short by this is a big hole in the roof where a sunroof used to be so we'll Put the videos up so you can see all that happen um but other than that there was zero other than the sunroof there's zero mechanical issues the engine ran great trans worked great um the trans is still we'll have a look in there so the trans is still uh um shifted electronically so I, I adjust the trans shifts with the with the tune um the tune on the operating system i'm using gives me a full throttle shift versus rpm so i can tell it what rpm exactly i want it to shift at when we're full throttle um so i'm using an american operating system not the australian commodore operating system in the ecu um what else well that's about it i had a crack a day I'd call it a success because yeah, there was zero, zero mechanical issues. Um, Dylan has done a great job with the engine. So with the engine, Dylan done the complete cylinder heads. He cut all the valve seats by hand, old school. Um, like this thing's built on a budget. So we weren't sending, whatever we didn't have to send out, we didn't. So Dylan, yeah, cut all the seats by hand. Um, Assembled all the heads, Dylan fired all the rings, done all the basic assembly work. Um, yeah, and the, the engine was, was faultless. Um, trans faultless. Um, hooked up great. 
it's actually got all the standard suspension in it. So standard springs, standard um, shocks, everything. There's nothing flash about the suspension, but I think the weight of the iron engine in the front has a lot more stored energy in the front springs. So when we launch and it actually lifts in the front quite a bit, transferring a lot of weight into the rear. So we had zero traction issues, but the torque converter is a little bit tight. So the torque converter could be a little looser and I've got 308 diff gears in it. Whole different story there with the diff. There's supposed to be three, four, sixes in it, but um, I brought a diff. I thought it was an M80, but it's an M76. And it's got, it had 308s and I got three, four, six gears I went to put in it. But it turns out I got an M76 and I got an M80 gears. So I couldn't put the gears in. So I thought, bugger it, I'll just put the diff back in with the throw eight and just run what we got. Um, so yeah, it was a bit quicker, three, four, sixes. Obviously, off the, out of the hole, but we got what we got. And I'll just play off the tune and, and um, get it as good as I can get it. Uh, so this next week we've got a few jobs to do obviously you fix the big massive hole in the roof and then um, um, exhaust make the exhaust quick and easy to um, quick and easy to remove so we get the track we can um, open the exhaust up with some cutouts um, I might Put back on the dyno. I really would like to do a 10, so I might, I'll get it back on the dyno if time allows us to. And we will, once the exhaust bit's done, um, and I'll do a bit more tuning with the nitrous up in the top. So I was fine with the nitrous. So we had 400 and with 100 shot of gas, we had 436. Horsepower, the rear wheels, um, and what we'll find is that it would peak early and fall over, and that'll be a mixture thing. But we were running that with open pipe, so I wasn't actually I was, I was tuning more for plugs rather than an air fuel ratio. So um, I'll get an exhaust on it, so we can, or or some pipe extensions, so we can get a, um, an AFR re decent AFR reading, and then play with the um, the tune so it doesn't go rich after that initial hit. So it gets the initial hit, all looks not too bad, and then it richens itself up, which kills the power a bit. So if we can maintain that power out to, you know, 6,000 RPM, instead of it, it falling off by, you know, five, whatever it is, in the low fives, anyway. Um, and then with that, get it launching a little bit harder. I, I can't see why we couldn't get a 10, but um, and I can, and I might even put another 50 shot in it. So bump it up to 150 shot. Um, seems really happy. Yeah. I'm really impressed with it. So, apart from the sunroof coming in, I'd call yesterday a success. I probably would have got it down into the low 11s if we had a few more runs, but anyway, that's the way it is. We know it seems to be fairly reliable. We've got to have done 50 pulls on the dyno by now. Um, not all of them full pulls, but yeah, we've got to, we've done a lot. And um, it's taken everything that we've thrown at it. So we will, we will um, finish up the last loose ends and um, go to drag challenge. Fingers crossed we can see a 10. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more of this car, um, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.